Hey everyone, this is part two of the classic Mustang throttle linkage project. In the first part I made the actual linkage piece and in this part I'm going to be making the end adjusters out of this piece of aluminum. To start off this project I need to make a simple jig to help me drill a hole in the center of the material. I don't remember where I saw this trick, but this is a quick and easy way to ensure a hole drilled perpendicular to the part is exactly centered. Basically, it is simply a small piece of stock, the same diameter of the part to be drilled, with a hole the same size as the drill bit to be used, drilled in the middle. And it's really easy to make an accurate version of this jig on the lathe. Now to drill a couple of holes. To make sure the hole is in the center of the stock, just clamp the jig on top of the part in the vise with the hole in the jig positioned where the hole in the part needs to be. Then just drill through the jig and through the part. It's so nice to have so many subscribers now. Using a mini mill to make precise holes is so much nicer than that flexible drill press I used to have to use. I could probably even make slotted parts on this thing. Why did I ever wait so long to get a mill anyway? This thing is such a pleasure to use. Whoa, what happened? That's what I get for daydreaming, I guess. Anyway, now that the part has two holes drilled and tapped with 3 8 by 16 TPI thread, I can move on to actually making the end adjusters out of it. As a side note, I really like this deburring tool, and while I probably didn't have to deburr these holes before they went on the lathe, I was curious to see how it would work on a threaded and curved hole, and it seemed to work nicely without damaging the threads. For no better reason than why not, I decided to try making both of the adjusters at the same time on the same piece of stock back to back with each other. It could have been a little better, but it also could have been a lot worse, so I'm just going to let this process play out.
At this point, both adjusters are pretty much complete and I just have to clean up the tops a little bit and make them match. And that's it. The end adjusters for the linkage project are done. I really like how they turned out and how similar they ended up being to each other. The threads are all clean and there's just enough shoulder to hold a bushing later on. They will work by threading onto the ends of the linkage and providing holding strength but also the ability to adjust the effective length of the linkage. Stay tuned for the next part which will be the making of the bushings and the installation. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check the links in the description to items I use, as well as my Instagram and Facebook for behind the scenes content. Hit that thumbs up if I should daydream more often. Comment if you thought that was a weird way to make parts. And be sure to subscribe if you aren't already.